Google Classroom is a free online service that lets teachers and students easily share files with each other. Teachers can post assignments for students to complete and then grade them, all without having to print anything. It also serves as a way of communicating. Teachers can post announcements and upcoming assignments as well as email both students and their parents. To access Google Classroom, you'll need to be logged into your Google account. Now, when you open Google Classroom, the first thing you'll need to do is create a class. Click the plus icon in the top right corner, then select Create Class. A dialog box will appear asking if you're planning on using Google Classroom at a school with students. Google Classroom requires schools to use G Suite for Education if their teachers plan to use it in their actual classrooms. This provides teachers and students with more privacy and security measures. If you're using Google Classroom for your own personal use, you won't need to worry about this. Next, you'll need to enter the name of your class. There's also an option to enter a section, subject, and room if you're using Google Classroom in a school. When you're done, click Create. Once you've created a class, you'll be taken to that class's page. Next, you might want to take a minute to explore the interface. Let's start with the class stream, which is kind of like your class's homepage. In the stream, you can post your own announcements for your class to see. You can also allow your students to post and comment on the stream. Under Upcoming, you'll find any work that's due soon and other reminders for things like tests and trips. At the top of the page, you'll see the menu command, where you can access other classes, your calendar, to-do lists, and more. To the right, you'll see the Stream tab, the Classwork tab, and the People tab. The Classwork tab is where you'll be able to create, assign, and grade all of the work for your class. In the People tab, you can view and communicate with the students and teachers in your class. Finally, in the Class Settings menu, you'll find the details about your class, including its section, room, and class code. You can also control whether students can post and comment on the stream. Now, once you've created your class, you'll need to add your students to it. One method you can use is to invite students via email. To do this, you'll first need to navigate to the People tab. Click the Invite Students icon. This will bring up a menu where you can type your students' various email addresses. Once you've added these, click Invite. An email will be sent to your students with a link inviting them to join your online classroom. You also have the option to add students to your class using a class code. This is a short code that anyone can use to join your class if you provide them with it. To access it, first click the class settings icon in the top right corner. You'll find the class code under the general tab. From here, you can share your class code with your students however you'd like. That covers the basics of Google Classroom. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.